It was probably the easiest semester of my life. They gave me a negative score on my final exam. I got to smell Elon Musk. Hello, it's Kevin Gong, and everything I just said was BS, but you're here now, so who's the real idiot? Today, I'm going to be telling you about my first semester here at the University of Waterloo. But before we get into that, I'm getting kind of tired of my surroundings. You can only live in a shitty hamster box for so long. So I think it might be time to switch it up. Whoa, wait, whoa, really, whoa. Whoa, whoa, that's... Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Hello. All right, first semester of Waterloo Mechanical Engineering. I'm going to list out the courses in terms of level of difficulty personally for me from easiest to hardest. I'll also do my best to give a rundown on what kind of was in the courses as well as how many hours it took me a week. ME100. This is the engineering course. It consists of two separate courses, engineering, graphics, and design or EGAD, and design, communication, and professionalism or DGAP. It's also worth 1.5 times your other courses, so it's kind of a GPA booster. The EGAD portion, although probably the most important knowledge to have in your career, was pretty fucking furry. We started off with a good amount of freehand sketching, sketching basic shapes and models, and eventually got more into AutoCAD and SolidWorks and 3D design. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially just communicating your ideas with programs through dimensioning and 3D modeling. We got to 3D model and print a phone stand, CAD, a snowflake that got laser cut, stuff like that. This shit was actually a lot of fun. You get had one lab a week for three hours in person, as well as weekly assignments that would take anything from two to four hours to complete, depending on on how hard you tried. So in total, five to seven hours a week. DCAP was also kind of free. There was no real structure to grades and assignments. I don't know if that's because it was online this semester, but I found that we would be randomly given assignments and stuff that were worth like one to 2% every one to two weeks. However, the main thing you get marked on is actually the toy design project. It's where you get into a group of four-ish people and create a toy from scratch. And although it'd be sick to have a great final product, it's mostly about the engineering process and the design going throughout. For my group, we were far from a final product, but there was something about building a shitty cardboard water gun with a balloon, air pump, and a shit ton of duct tape that was fun as fuck. Test one on symposium day. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Plus, the main work you actually get marked on are meetings with your TA to update them on your progress, as well as the toy design report at the end. For DCAP, there were three one-hour lectures a week and a three-hour lab. I'm gonna be honest, I stopped going to the hour-long lectures live because they were pretty much just nice conversations about engineering. Along with the toy design project, I say that you spend around eight hours a week on DCAP. The exams for both were either too much material and too short of a time, or for DCAP, incredibly arbitrary. Easiest course though, by far. Math 116. This is your typical calculus course. A good amount of it is just continuation from high school. However, at the end, it really dives deeper into integration, which is expected because that's all that next semester is. Ow! In terms of lectures, because it was online, they were all pre-recorded. Each week, we would have a different amount that were different lengths, so it was a pain in the ass to schedule into your day. I'd say on average, there were around like two hours worth of lectures every week. For me specifically, it took me around like two to four hours to complete my assignments, but I'm sure you math demons coming into Waterloo would get by much quicker. There was also a tutorial every week, but it wasn't helpful most of the time. It was an hour, so I guess I'll put that in. In total, it was like five to seven hours a week. CHE 102, chemistry for engineers. Let me start by saying, but chemistry. I took this shit early in high school just to get it over with faster, which I now realize was a mistake because it gave me a two year break from chem going into this course. As for the course itself, honestly, it should be easier than Math 116. This is a course that is mostly used to get everyone on the same playing field, kind of like setting a basis for the rest of university. I think that the main problem uh, is mostly just because it was online and the assignments were due every two weeks or something. So there's really no point in doing the lessons on a schedule. For all the assignments, I did weeks worth of lessons a few days before the assignments were actually due, which wasn't smart, but I'm done and I passed, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> there was one one hour long lecture a week, but I'm gonna be honest, it was pretty useless. People would often ask questions that would take up most of the time and all the information in class was already in the online modules, so 
why the fuck would I go? There was also a two hour tutorial every week, but that shit was at 9 a.m. It was across campus. They went over tutorial questions, which once again, were already all online with the solution. I think assignments would take around two hours. Um, I go office hours sometimes because chemistry is dog water and I'm a stupid moron. If you were to go to everything, which I do not suggest doing, it would probably be around five hours a week. Math 115, linear algebra. This shit was hard. Never have I been more unconfident in my mathematical ability. Mostly because this isn't math. This is words. This is like reading Harry Potter and then writing those characters into the Bible. It's like if a mute person tried speaking braille. It starts off relatively easy, introducing concepts such as complex numbers and proofs. Soon enough, it goes into spans, subspaces, systems of linear equations, matrices, Markov chains, a shit ton of stuff. Even after going through this course, I don't know what half the words I just said even mean. I also found that I did better on my exams than my homework. This shouldn't scare you though. As I've said multiple times, I am a moron. Especially when it comes to conceptual shit, I find I have a hard time wrapping my head around concepts. Most of my friends went through the course relatively smoothly though. So if you're worried, don't be. Unless you're also moron, then good fucking luck. <laughs> Assignments, lectures, and tutorials put together, they would take about around seven to nine hours a week. Biz 115. This is physics, or how they like to call it, mechanics. Um, physics is, uh, it was, um, like they, they like sometimes I uh, like from like before it was hard. The material isn't super difficult to learn or understand. It feels mostly like part of high school and part continuation of high school. However, the jump from lectures to assignments was fucking massive and even bigger from quizzes to exams. The lectures also proved to be a massive waste of time, at least this semester. There were three hours worth a week and this was the only class where you got marked on attendance and participation for in-class questions. Granted, they were bonus marks, but who the fuck is gonna pass up bonus marks in the hardest course? Most lectures, we wouldn't get through all of the material because some students kept asking questions, which I guess is mostly a problem with online learning. There was also a two hour tutorial every week. I didn't go. I think by the end, only like 40 out of 300 students ended up showing up because they didn't help. They were shit. This is probably going to change in the coming years, but I only had three exams instead of a midterm and a final. First one, or like the midterm, is always going to be marked really harshly. They do this to lower the class average and I guess like motivate you to try harder. It kind of does the opposite. In order to make up for the terrible first test average, they marked way more generous in the upcoming two exam. My second exam, I wrote fucking paragraphs under some of the questions. I thought for sure I failed, but they niced me and I ended up getting a pretty decent grade. That was actually the magic eight ball video I did. So you should watch it. For the last exam, I didn't even finish the final lectures. I already knew I was doomed and I was passing the course, so I kind of just won it. But they niced me again, and I ended up passing the test. In total, along with lectures, tutorials, assignments, and quizzes, I'd say physics took around like 10 hours a week. It also took away my will to live, but who knows? Maybe I can use one of Newton's laws to force myself not to cry. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> Aside from courses, first term uni is always going to be a difficult adjustment. If I were to give myself advice, I'd say remember to make friends, fuck around, have some fun, and also square up to the geese every once in a while. Those floor shitting rats are asking for it. That's it for the video. Leave a like, subscribe. It's winter break now, so I think I'm gonna relax and fuck around with some friends. Catch you in the next one.